What's going on guys? I'm George with Marine Max in Orlando, Florida. Today I'm standing on the 2023 Boston Whaler 170 Montauk. This is one of the greatest center consoles ever built. Um, I'll pinch up to the back of the boat and I'll give you a quick rundown of what kind of options are on this particular boat. This boat was ordered with a 90 horsepower Mercury four stroke with command thrust. Command thrust means it's got the larger foot, lower unit of a 115. Gives you more hole shot, more torque when you load the boat down with weight. Um, and the clutch dog and the gears are never going to wear out during the life of the boat, hopefully not. It was ordered with optional jump seats in the back, it's pretty cool. You pull out this backrest, it makes it easy for family and friends boarding on and off on the swim platform ladder. And then when you take these backrests out, you've got four trolling rod holders on the stern of the boat. These quickly come out, slide out of these hinges. You don't have to have them on the boat if you know you're not going to have more than a couple of people the, that day. Uh, notice on the 17 Montauk by Boston Whaler, Whaler's known for function over form. Uh, the Bimini top leans forward. One of the only manufacturers that does this because anything that can get in your way when you're on the boat is in this center line, center of gravity of the boat. So for fishing in the back of the boat, you don't have Bimini poles that are in your way. It's got quick release stainless steel stanchions. You can take it off if it's winter time in Florida. You don't need the Bimini top, just wear some sun gear and you're good to go. Uh, of course, they've changed the 17 Montauk to have the internal fuel tank now, so you don't have to worry about external tanks or fuel lines. It's all built into the boat. We've got a reversible leaning post right here. You can slide all the way back and slide it forward so that if it's rough and choppy and you want to go get after it and have fun, two people can stand here and lean against the leaning post. Two more people can stand holding on to this strong rail. We've got a nice platform now on the 17 Whaler for uh, Garmin, Raymarine, Simad, whatever you want to put up there. Integrated cup holders with drains, another cup holder, so three stainless steel cup holders went for about 30 years. The 17 Montauk didn't have one. It was the unchanged legend for a long time. Here in the center console, we've got room for multiple batteries. Right now we've got the props, the owner's kit. This boat just got taken out of shrink wrap. We've got some storage here in the door. Nice acrylic windshield. Cooler seat right here, Igloo Cooler, tried and true. We all grew up with one that keeps ice cold for days. It's lightweight, easy to get in and out of the boat. Uh, if a Yeti was more functional, Whaler would include it in the boat. Rod holders right here, you've got tackle and tool holders as well. They've integrated a fish box up here in the bow or storage, but since Whaler is like a Yeti cooler and the whole boat is high compression foam film, foam filled, it'll keep ice cold for days right there. So you can use this one as a kill box storage or a cooler and same type of scenario here for the anchor compartment you can use it as a fish box storage or an anchor locker uh, most people do all of the above more cup holders you can do optional bow cushion you can do optional rails um, top of the line boston whaler 17 montauk my name is george my cell phone is 404-786-1452 i'm originally from atlanta that's the 404 number text me if you've got questions about our product or boston whaler I've been doing this for a long time, lifelong whaler guy, can we call